Assalamu alaikum and very good day. My name is Dr. Javed Iqbal. Welcome to my new lecture on Standard Machine Learning Pipeline. I have created this lecture especially for undergraduate and postgraduate students who want to work in machine learning or its related areas. This lecture can be very useful for such students of MS and PID who attends to work in machine learning while discussing about standard machine learning pipeline the first step is the data acquisition or collection in this step we collect data that can be in text audio video or image form after data acquisition the next step is the feature extraction if data is not in the numeric form we have to apply various encoding techniques like one hot encoding image descriptors in case of image data, if data is not in numeric form, we have to go through this step. Otherwise, we can skip this step. After feature extraction, the next step is the data pre-processing. Since the data we have gathered may not be in a form that is suitable for data processing. So, we may have to pre-process that data. During data pre-processing, we may perform data cleaning, normalization, transformation, handling, NAN or missing values, etc. The next step after the data pre-processing may be dimensionality reduction or feature subset selection. Since the data we have obtained so far may have huge dimensionality. To reduce the dimension of the data, we may apply different uh, dimensionality reduction or feature subset selection techniques. The most popular technique is the principal component analysis, PCA, correlation based feature selection or information gain, etc. All these steps which includes data acquisition, feature extraction, data preprocessing, dimensionality reduction or feature subset selection uh, can be treated under the data preparation. The next step after data preparation is the data exploration and visualization. During this we may explore and visualize the data like we may take mean median, min, max, variance, standard deviation, histogram, box plot, or other visualization methods. After data exploration and visualization, the next major step is the model building, which includes training and testing of the model. During this step, we will choose any suitable machine learning algorithm the algorithm may be supervised or unsupervised the techniques that we use in the machine learning pipeline mainly uh, applied here apart from selection of a suitable machine learning algorithm hyperparameter tuning is also done at this stage the next step after model building is the prediction and evaluation. Here we look into model predictions and evaluations. Predictions and evaluation can be measured using confusion matrix, different performance measurement matrix such as accuracy, precision, or mean every precision in case of image related data. If the model prediction evaluation is not satisfactory, then we may retrain the model. After retraining, if we get suitable results, we may proceed. Otherwise, we may reiterate till satisfactory system performance. We may have to perform data preparation again and then have to perform the earlier steps. After we satisfied with model predictions, we may uh, save the uh, chosen model we may deploy it so the last step is the model deployment 
Here we get the model predictions, monitor prediction, manage model and various versions. So this is the last step of this standard machine learning pipeline. As I talked, uh, this standard machine learning pipeline can be used for any research related to machine learning. This lecture provides a guideline for all the students who want to carry out their research in machine learning, MA processing, or computer vision. Finally, I hope this lecture would be very helpful for undergraduate and postgraduate students who want to carry out their FYP tasks or search later tasks or search later tasks. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.